And you are someone who's, I mean, you've had some, you've injured both your knees uh, yeah, a few months ago. Yeah, they're injured ago. right now, actually. I have a torn meniscus in the left and then multi-angular torn meniscus in the right, which means it's like a web of tears. So I've been, uh, you know, there's rehab stuff and injections from blood work and, and just things I'm doing to try and fix the situation, you know. And for now, I'm still performing on the injured knees. Wow. But uh, so for me, the I've had to recalibrate um, the stage show for myself a little bit so that mm. I'm not um, straining my legs as hard. So normally I'm like everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, and obviously, if you know the history of the band, I used to jump off, you know, balconies well, and your speaker heels. stacks, and yeah, I broke both my heels. Yeah. <laughs> much mm. as I'm used to doing but until I can fix uh, my body the robot <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> the robot meat suit yeah it'll yeah. it'll keep going though that's why I was like human bodies are crazy man it's like um, there's always you know logistics that um, would keep you from being able to repair your own body I guess but um, I, I there's a huge thing and using your mind to to help the body mm. it's like uh, uh you give up control and whatever your higher power is whatever it is you know it's like uh whether it's religion or an alien or whatever you think is going on um when you give up control and you actually believe that it'll work it works is so, that how you stop yourself getting scared um i guess I don't know. I don't think about that so much. Just that, I guess maybe that's a big part of it. You know, just someone else is kind of at the wheel. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, that you can also use to like repair your body. Right. So, and I've even had therapists and people I've been working with that, that have, can visually see it happening. Things rearranging themselves in the body. And like, so it's like, uh, just allowing it to happen mm -hmm. you know what i mean you gotta like you gotta honestly believe in it and give up control to it and that's that's a big thing with the shows too so like when i broke my heels i finished the show on my feet for the basically there was a we put a bar stool behind the turntables and i mm -hmm. put one leg on it at a time and i kept switching so that way Oof. from the audience they would still see like a leg down there and it would look like oh he's still standing you know like wow <laughs> But uh, that's like in that moment telling myself I'm going to be all right. I'm going to get through it and I'm going to yeah. fix it. You know, and I did. I got back. I got better. I, I was um, after that, I even got to the best shape I was ever in. You know? Wow. So, yeah. And um, that's amazing because we need we need you up there. I'm back at that again now, though, with the knees. So yeah. it's like it's uh, it limits the amount of things you can do to um, physically be ready to do these sort of things, you know. And, yeah. Uh, so with slow, steady, confident work and, and a strong mind, I'll get my legs back. So.